morning, dear students. Have your seats, please. How was your weekend? Very good. So, in our last class, who can remind us what did we do in our last class? Yes? About years before that, before that, we talked about economic systems. So, how many types of economic systems do we have? Yes? We have four types of economic systems. Can we name them? Yes? Mixed economic system, that's just one. Market economic systems, yes. Planned economic system and traditional economic system. That is beautiful. So today we're going to start with a new model, uh, model two, contributions of resources in the process of production. Are we together? So before we get into that, I would like that at the end of the lesson, each and every one of you should be able to define what we call production. Okay, and also outline the types of production. Are we together? Okay, at this stage, I want you to listen to this situation. Okay, a jobless man is unable to meet up with his children's needs. He decides, therefore, to engage himself in a business activity. The question we're going to be answering at the end of the day would be how to advise him on the type of goods to produce are we together so that said we are now going to carry out an activity okay are we together it's just a simple uh puzzle that i'm going to drill you in is that clear so that now we're standing i just expect you to follow instructions and you stay quietly i'm going to distribute these papers to you is there somebody who is not ready to participate to take part in the activity so I can attribute another role. I can give you another role. Is there anybody? Okay, that's fine. Everybody's ready. So I'm going to share these papers. Just pick one and send the rest. Do that first. Send it. Do the same this way. Just pick one as fast as possible. Pick. Pick one. Take just one each. Be fast about it. Fast, fast, fast. So this activity we're going to be taking is called Why Writing Name? Why writing the name matters? Is everybody having a sheet of paper? Yes. Who is not having? Please make sure you have one. Okay, who has more? Who has more? Let me give you more. Just indicate if you don't have. All right. Take. Send it. Okay, lift it up if you have one already. Everybody? All right, listen to instructions. We are now going to fold this paper, and I want you to look at me very well. We are going to fold it into three equal parts. Are we there? Okay, watch. This is what I'm going to do. This is the first half, and then I'll do this. Can you do it? Do it yourselves. I'm going to I'm folding it into three equal parts. This is mine. You have one minute for that. Okay. One minute. Yes, that's okay. Three equal parts. It should be something like this. Okay, that's fine. All right, all right. Okay, after folding these papers, we're going to go to the next stage. 
I want each and every one of you to write down. Are there people here who use their left hands in writing? Just indicate. Who are those who use their left hands in writing? Nobody. Okay, fine. So right now, I want you to use your left hand. Do you see this middle part of the paper? The middle part of the paper. You're going to use your left hand and you write one name, okay, of anything you've heard about production. Are we together? Anything, any word you've heard about production. So you write it in capital letters. Are the instructions clear? Let me take it again. Write using your left hand, okay? For those who usually write with their right hands, this time you're going to write with your left hand. So write any word you've ever heard about production. Top, we're writing. Make sure you're writing in capital letters. Capital letters. Sugar. Rice. Book. Bag. Benches. Services. Hmm. A pen, money, creation. Okay, that's fine. Now, let's listen, please. I want you to place it in front of you. Just open it like this and you place whatever thing you like this. Place what you've written in front of you. Somebody still writing? Okay. Pens, that's good. Okay, so right now, I want you to tell me, when I asked you to write using your left hand before, how did you feel? What was the feeling you had? Yes, my boy. Stressed up. He was so stressed up. Yes, you? Excited? Really? Okay. Oh, his hand was shivering. Yes. He, she was surprised. <laughs> it was so difficult. Okay, when you started writing, how did you feel? Yes, uh, Nkulu. I feel comfortable. She felt comfortable writing with her left hand. Yes. She was happy. Yes. You were not comfortable because your hand was shaking, right? Okay. You were having confidence when you started writing. So after writing the name of anything you know about production, how did you feel after writing? Yes, I, great, bravo, proud, proud. wonderful, that's yeah, okay, yes. Oh, and you? Okay, encouraging, all right. At this point in time, I want you to clap for yourselves. Well done. Okay, the second thing we're going to do now, you are all seated in pairs. I want you to share the word, what you wrote on your paper, okay? You discuss it in pairs with your neighbor. Discuss it with your neighbor. Tell your neighbor why you wrote that particular thing you wrote. Please, let's do that. Less noise. Discuss two, 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 pair up. Should be rounding up. Okay, beautiful. Are we together? Yes. All right. I now want each and every one of you, well, I need just one person, to come up and share with us what the person told us, okay? And but before we do that, how did you feel sharing your story to your neighbor? How did you feel? 
happy. Happy. She was happy sharing what she wrote. Were you able to explain yes. what you wrote down? Yes. Excited. Excited. Fine. So I need one person now to come and share this, what the other person wrote. Okay. And why the person wrote what he or she wrote. Okay. Yes. One person, please. Uh, yes, Mia. Come up. Be fast. Just stand so that she can. <coughs> All right. Stand here and tell us. My name is Mia. On my paper, I wrote benches because I can see that in every class they benches. Some are having new ones and others they are old benches. Mm -hmm. Now my friend he wrote me, he told me that in the dictating that sometimes he's writing faster. Mm -hmm. And some leisure times he used books to draw behind the funny things mm -hmm. then started laughing. <laughs> okay, that's his story. Let's let's clap, let's clap for her. Okay. At this point. Mbia says a friend wrote about a book and she wrote about a bench, okay? You can clear, clearly see that. With all these notions, who can define, comfortably define production? Oh, so many hands. Yes, Kezia. Very good. Let's clap for her, please. She said, production is the creation of goods and services to satisfy human wants. Is that not beautiful? That is why I have people writing benches, books, because when you create a good, at the end of the day, what do you have? You have goods and services. At this point, I'm going to show you something. Let's identify this with me. Please, just come and assist me here. Just pin it up. The second one. Okay, go to it. Can we all look up? Yes. Dear students, can we look up? Yes. Okay. What can you see on this picture? What can you see on picture A? Yes? No, this way. A big plantation of maize. What about it? What about picture B? Yes. No, the. Yes. A family cultivating goods to go and eat at home. How can we describe these two pictures? How can we classify them? Yes, my girl. Under the types of production. Very good. So we have two types of production. How do we call them? Oh my God, so many hands, yes. We have direct production and we also have indirect production. So these two pictures are clearly indicating to us A and picture A and B. They're indicating the types of production. So which one here represents indirect production? I said indirect. Yes. Picture A. Why? Why is picture A representing indirect production? Why picture A? Asheri, tell us. Why is picture A representing? Because they are not coming from the family. Mm -hmm. like traditional production. Okay. 
they are cultivating that maize for sale. Cultivating in very big quantities, isn't it? What about picture B? What does it represent? Yes. Direct production. Are we together? Okay. So what does it mean, direct production? You can see from there, what does it? Yes, what does it entail? Goods that are used to satisfy human wants immediately. Examples, please. Let's take the examples. Yes. Bread. Bread. Bread is an example of direct production. How do you get there? Bread? Yes. A housewife cooking food for their family. Yes. Another example, please. What is happening this way? Yes, Kezia. <laughs> okay, Kezia washing her own dresses. That is direct production. That's good. Yes. A tailor who sews her own dresses. You must precise that she is sewing her own dresses. Very good. Any other example? What about examples? Let's take examples of indirect production. What are examples of indirect production? Yes? Chocolate. How do we get chocolate? We have to transform cocoa into chocolate. Yes? Raw materials. Like, I want you to give me the, yes. Sugar. Like sugar? How do you get sugar, please? Yes? By? Yes, what do you do with sugar cane? How do you, yes? We use sugar cane to produce sugar. Yeah, let's take just sugar, okay? Not chocolate. You can use cocoa. Yes? Oil? Okay, we usually gather palm notes, right? And we make oil, we produce palm oil. Yes? A baker producing bread for sale. Okay. So that is why we are taking this lesson, lesson number eight. Let me take this off. Lesson number eight, which is on production. Okay, so like we said earlier, we have to know how to define production. And we said production is a creation of goods and services to satisfy human wow. wants. Furthermore, we know that there are two types of production. We have what we call direct production, and we equally have what we call indirect production. So that is that for our lesson. Any questions so far? Any question, please? Any question? Okay, if there is no question, in our next class, we are going to continue with the stages of production. So I want you to read on the stages of production. Okay? Have a nice time. It was really good being with you.